20 TEAL winners. All under age 20. $100,000 to drop out of school and pursue our dreams. This is Team Technorati. Each of the TEAL houses has a name. Our house is the Wissenschaft House, which means the house of science. The German flags are kind of a joke. My home is an absolutely magnificent place. I live in a house with two biochemists, a bioinformaticist, a hardware hacker. So we have quite a diverse set of people here. This is the movie room which I share with my house. We usually don't actually watch movies or TV. Instead, we talk about new discoveries and read papers on the screen. There's a computer there and it's mainly just used for browsing the internet. This is my little safe space. I had to take pictures of everything because my parents are freaking out. This is one of my like lucky stones. It's supposed to help me focus and concentrate on things which I really need to work on because I I think I really have a very, very I have a deficit when it comes to like focusing. I like to have my to-dos visible because I find that far more motivating. And so I've broken it down into my self-improvement section. I have the developing my math and physics intuition section. I have very low priority section, the done section, and of course, the goals for today. My project has changed since the vicious. I was previously working on assistive mobility technology, and then I thought to myself, why am I working on assistive mobility when I can completely replace biological functionality? An example, I think grasp and my neuroprosthetic hand reads the signal, sees that I wanted to grasp, and moves the appropriate joint angles. I am working on making neuroprosthetics learn more diverse set of actions more quickly by adjusting their algorithms. I have many side projects, and one of those side projects is this pure mathematics project. I'm currently reading a book on applied algebraic systems. In actuality, categories and sets are very different. Oh, or I could talk about the Collatz conjecture. I'm sorry, I'm like, I want to talk about all the math. You should definitely check out all the books because they were, they were supposed to be chosen by a designer who designed everything here. So she literally judged the books by the cover. They have like a bunch of books about business, about starting a startup, I guess. There's some subliminal messaging going on right here. The main subject matter actually began with a face and a bird's mask. I started out with painting and I usually sketch. So turning to a medium such as painter's tape, in which you have no ability to shade, is quite difficult. I would say that the artistic choices here are mainly focused around parallelism and keeping, as my friend Chris Walker says, symmetry within the asymmetry. This is a toy that I used to make when I was little in which you can explore waves. This is where my roommates and I make music together and sing along. The Yamaha I, is a classical guitar and have a fixed schedule, like wake up at a certain time, go to sleep at a certain time, like have these like periods of time where I'm most creative, I kind of get to know them and then work the most during those timings. So the guitar is actually part of that. You want a haircut? I would actually come here. This is okay. also haircuts today, just like the furniture today, but we can also do it tomorrow, I think. Heck, oh my god. Are they only open today or are they open tomorrow also? Because it doesn't say on their side. Really, most of what we eat here is apples and quite a lot of protein bars. <laughs> this better be a good burrito. <laughs> I've never eaten a burrito like this in my life. So do you feel like you've started already or do you feel like it hasn't mm. set in yet? Nope, not yet. Because like, there are moments where I feel like what I'm doing doesn't sort of matter at all and like, I feel like super crushed. But then what I usually do is like, just go and read like TechCrunch and all these other stuff. Because these people can go out and like, get funding and like, speak to investors and like, have a product out there. Why can't I do it? And so, 100%. yeah. I've been given this amazing opportunity. I find that if somebody tells me that something is too challenging or that I can't do it, I just want to do it more. It gives me more motivation. Tune in for the next episode of Team Technorati when we peer into the future at NASA. And be sure to subscribe to the Wired channel.